It's a hat trick for it. Episode number three of wearing the gown. And also, another reason to celebrate a three. We have just hit 3,000 subscribers. And honestly, guys, I cannot thank you enough. So, I'm going to say thank you, but I don't think that is enough to say to you, as I've got big things for the future. We've got FIFA 22 coming out. We've got different kind of videos. We've got a lot of stuff to celebrate it. But it will take time. I'm working a lot at the moment off of YouTube and on to try and make stuff happen, progressing this and assuring you that it will happen as we'll dive into Paris for now. As yes, guys, welcome back to the Paris FC career mode, episode number three of season number four. And today we have, I'm going to show you the game to start off with because that's what we usually do when it's not a um, transfer time, but it is. So we're going to have to play less games today as we have Lille first at home. As you can see, if you haven't seen the last episode, please do watch it, even though it may look a little bit drab with them results. It was two good games and then a lesser of one, as then we have Deadline Day and of course Toulouse and probably Marseille if we don't reach Mets, which I honestly don't see us doing to be fair with the transfers we need to make. We need a goalkeeper of course, we've got 59 million, we've got, we've got the need for a goalkeeper and maybe a backup strike. well yeah, because Parika's gone hasn't he, so yeah, most definitely a backup striker now, as it's Jung sitting on that bench and Saliba... What age is he right now? He's 32, so he's not the oldest, but he is downgrading now and petering out a bit. And I've also neatened up my transfer list right here, as I did find another keeper. I don't know about him just yet, though. Paul or Paul Gardy or Na Nardi, what am I even saying? But he's just gone to Frankfurt. I'm not thinking about signing him yet, because honestly, I am really thinking about using Carlier in goal. He's kept two clean sheets and conceded one goal in three games. Not too bad. Not the best teams, of course. But if we just build a stronger defence in front of him, it should be pretty set. And I do want to bring my youth through. You know I want to focus on that. We rejected a bid from Madrid. Or we tried too much from Madrid. And we ended up keeping Jonas Bauman. Of course, we had to sell Colleen because he was just way overgrowing the team in the division below and um, we've got the likes of Jung, Leonard, a load of players in the reserves and a load out on loan. So I'm thinking with the money we've got left, the backup for Hajam has to come in. So Niels Nkuku is the player I am looking at from Everton. 22 year old, 69 rated, actually worse than Hajam. But of course, we, we should sign someone who's going to take a rotational and this guy should be it. I do want a player who's going to understand his role at the club. Not like Parika and uh, Ludovic Reese who have both left now but thought there was like first teamers when they obviously was never going to be first teamers. As we'll offer his evaluation and they want a 1% release clause which is fine. As it's just on to the negotiation stage right now a squad role um, rotation of course it is. See if he takes that, as he should do. If he wouldn't have, I would have gone mental. If we would have took something lower, I would have been alright though. As uh, so we'll offer him a five-year contract. He's a youth player, and he's going to accept that one straight away. No release clause. Absolutely fine by me. No worries at all, as he wants a smaller wage than he's on right now. Take away the appearance, because I do think he might play five games. If we do well in the Cups, and 16k a week, he wants 16 and a half. That is fine by me. Niels, welcome to Paris. Decent little signers. We've got these on the list still, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer. See how we do against Lille. Because honestly, if we either win or maybe draw again, but maybe a draw's not good enough this time around. If we win against Lille, I think the team may be a bit overpowered for spending all this money. Why spend 50 million when it's working as it is and you can bring youth players forward? And speaking of them, we've got our monthly scout report. As I think as well, with this scout right here... Actually, as well, I told you in the last episode I sent him to the native country. I, I mistakenly said that because um, Alessandro Martins in Albania, of course, and I think the French one was in Austria. So I made a mistake by telling you that. Sorry, but he's in transit. His eyes are come back. I've recalled him because I think I think I'm going to get rid of him and buy a five star, five star scout if one, of course, is available, just to be on the safe side of getting through some good youth because we've only got Nice really. 
who's the academy player? And it's game day straight away here against Lille, who are on six points. So one more than us, but it proves they've lost a game because three games doesn't add up that you can get six points without losing one. As Carlier is in goal, Valerie, Bamba, Bolly, Manduki and Baba trying to support the youth keeper who hopefully can kick on this season as he has been in the first three games with Name, Olise and Masengo, Muleka and Antiste with a kind of weak bench which we do need to improve upon. I've actually not thought about backup keeper, it's Simon again, forgot about him all the time. He is here back at the club as we definitely do need a striker actually looking at that and of course loads of youth players for the reserves as we're going to go into Lille hoping to be their second L on their sheet of results. And let's have a look at Lille's team. It's Sepe in goal, no Chevalier. He's actually moved from them with Farkas, Liete, Sané and Mendina at the back. Bamba, Sumari, Andre and Lehaj with Wilfred Zaha and Gomez. I'm pretty sure Zaha was at Lyon as well, so he's made another move across in, um, in France. So he's very much... A open player, no loyalty with him. Although he did have some with Palace. Think he wants to leave still in real life? I never know about Wilfred Zaha, really. Don't necessarily follow Palace, but he has been there quite a while, to be fair to him. As now Mustafi Name straight away on the ball. We need to do well and avoid their pressing game, it looks like. Very far forward as Valerie gets the pass off, but has fallen to Wilfred Zaha right here as Gomez with quick passing. Jonathan David also is a player I'm pretty sure I did not see on the bench and must have left Lille as well as Yilmaz and Yaziki as we get a tackling right there and Bamba just to keep it. Of course, we are a length into this save as well, so I'm not surprised that players have gone and left as Bamba, with, or Baba this time with a good touch. He's going to pass it to Masengo, hope for it back and get it back as here he is, Rabdon Baba. Tries to cut inside. Can he get the pass off through that middle? He can, but not urgent enough from Antiste to get onto it. At least we've kept the ball a bit. And here is Hanoa Masengo with the ball at his feet. I'm going to actually look out to get that to this side, but we've missed out on it with Mendina winning his header. It's going to try and put the pressure on a little bit. Andre, the pass back now to Diogo Liete as it's 20 minutes in. Nothing really chat home about in terms of chances. And Name. With a pass off to Elise, who I would like to see a bit more involved in this game, mate. I mean, we haven't gone forward much, but still, you need to drop back if not. As uh, so we've got a pass right there off to Baba, the left wing back, with a chance to cross it right here to Elise, who was arriving, but Farkas with the header away. Best chance. And half time. Again, one of the worst halves I've ever seen. It is a load of stalemates for us. Nil nil in the full game, firstly. Uh, of course, two, one in the first half of one, and then nil-nil in the second half against Strasbourg, I'm going to say. And then nil-nil in the last game. As look at that, zero shots from either team, even off target. We need someone to get that spark. Can't keep playing like this all the time. As Zaha with a run of Angel Gomez. Great tackle there from Bamba. As Elise straight onto Masengo and Antiste. Come on, let's make a run here, mate. And get a good chance off as Jan Valerie speeding down at right wing back. He's going to keep on running. He's got men in the middle. I'm going to try and cut this to the edge, and it's a good cutback. Maleka with a touch and a shot. As please say it took a deflection, please. It didn't. And we've made one change. Michael Olise, who I brought in to be that dynamo in the uh, attacking midfield role. Just create stuff. Pop it in and pop it out. He did look like doing that in the first game, but hasn't proven to do it overall. He's going to come off at Enzo Malloy, or has done already. As Zaha with the pass onto Angel Gomez as they look to be a bit attacking as well. They've changed the formation up definitely. One striker with a load of support in Zaha as that's a good run as well from the captain. Andre with a pass across goal and Carlier. First time he's had to touch it. As now it's Muleka with the ball out wide and we could actually attack from their chance. We're going to pull that back and go this way again but then go this way again as it's a stupid ball from the Congo International as now Zaha with it and he's going to get that over the top so got to run it's Neres with the ball David Neres trying to be chased by Baba no penalty just a great tackle that is beautiful from Baba in the defense as Miloy is going to get it and Masengo that was a dodgy pass but it still worked out and here we go this is our attack maybe not However, Antiste, put that pressure on, come on. It looks like both teams are a little bit tired, of course, because it is a game after international duty as Name's won it right here. And can we attack really quickly? We've got bodies forward, Masengo through the middle, dodgy touch. Very dodgy touch, as that was a chance as well. Jan Valery winning his header, Name receiving it, as can we keep the pressure on in the last couple of minutes? I mean, we've got over 10, but still, I'm calling this the dying embers of the game, as pass isn't a good one round the corner. Still, chase it down. 
and winning straight back like we did with Mustafi Name as Mendia has cut away though and got it down the line. But I think in the end, both teams really cancelling each other out unless something can happen here as Moleka with a good cut away, you know, he's got a man on his shoulder, needs to try and drag that back and has done great feet from Jackson Maleka. He's got the pass off right there to Enzo Milloy. Milloy, give it back to Maleka. It's good feet, but Diego Liete was always behind him as he whacks that out of play. And can we get a last minute chance? They're still making bloody subs as Jan Valery into Maleka, into Antiste. Down that line to Valery again as Valery cut back inside. Please don't lose this, don't lose this. Pass it inside and dodgy pass. Very dodgy pass as that's going to be the end of the game, I think. Yes. And nil-nil again, which isn't a bad result against Lille, but honestly, three nil-nils at the start of the season. We've got to score goals. As I have got scouting strikers after that one, but of course, we move till deadline day. We see if anyone gets any more offers in, because then we could potentially go for a stronger striker, of course, if Antiste or Muleka leave, as we're going to just keep moving on forward with the season, as we are in sixth position. Not too bad. I said that like I was ashamed. It's it's actually great. Seventh now, but still absolutely phenomenal to say we've lost a load of players and we've made profit with our players and we've signed literally a backup and a cam, which was very expensive, but still not the highest rated, not even over 80 rated. As let's have a look at our spendings, actually. This will prove everyone spent like 20 and all that. And we have spent 39 and made 23. So we have actually spent actually more than we have sold, which is shocking to me, really. But I'll take it. As we might have an offer straight away in here as well. It's for Bamba from Reniers. Oh my days, I didn't want to see all their messages. It's 6.5 million, and that is a ridiculous offer. That is definitely getting turned down. It was embarrassing. As Bauman, loan offer from Benfica, you know, and that's actually a decent one. He could get a load of game time there, but I'm going to keep him around. <laughs> we need the players. No one's going out unless it is a real, real good bid. As we've got another message after that. What's this? It's Malloy. Angus, 5 million. No. So we're going to have to look at backup strikers as well. So I did say backup. So Mateta is off the list for now, but I'm going to keep him there because I see his price going down. It was 30 million. Now he's 22. If they don't do well in the championship and he goes towards the end of his contract, he could be a lot cheaper. So that's what I'm holding on for him on the list there for. As we've got Crisant from Santa Clara. Very good option because he's only 4 million for 74 rated. And Ungoy, who's a little bit more expensive, uh, but two years younger from Belgium. And I don't fancy him really. We've already been shopping in Belgium. He's only a speed dribbler. We need something new. We need a new option off the bench, not just one who's going to be like Muleka, and I think Kryzan could fit that bill, 6 foot 3, high work rates, going to probably take a smaller wage, and if we ever need to go to a winger, he can play it. A Brazilian flair, as I don't think this window has been necessarily about just buying out all these players, it's been about gradual progression, that's what I'm going to say this season is gradual progression if we do of course get into Europe then we'll have to buy a lot of players I think to fit the um, the uh, schedule of course as we're going to offer 5 million no way they will get in now mate and he wants 7.3 which is a tad bit expensive for this guy but 6.3 should be agreed upon and is as it is just down to squad roll right now as he wants sporadic oh my days uh, okay, I'm not going to argue with that. I'll definitely give him sporadic if he wants it because he's going to sit on that bench behind our strikers. A two-year contract because I see his age and he wants a four. Okay, okay, Kryzan, you can have a four-year contract. I bet he knows that Antiste and Malaika are good, so good on him for taking that as he does want a high wage still and we'll just accept it. We're going to go ahead and pay more, pl uh, more money to our players to keep them happier at this club and hopefully boost the form on the field by boosting morale as Kryzan is our backup striker and that potentially could be our business done unless anything jumps out to surprise us as something has done as well Newcastle United offering 17.2 million for Jan Valery and he's worth a lot more than that and we're going to reject it too late um, Toonami I do appreciate you as a club but he is not going anywhere good try though as we're into the last hour and there's a bid don't be like Antiste or anything please don't be Antiste don't be Antiste it's Valerie again from Everton, which is a decent club, you know. But I'm going to controversially reject that. I do like players leaving to progress their careers. But honestly, 
With the way we're going on in this league, you never know. He might want to stay to try and get into Europe if we can, even though it's very, very hopeful that we are going to. But I'm going to reject Everton because they're not in any competition, as we have, of course, completed deadline day as well. So we're into the new season as we've got youth players in right here and none of them look too great. I'm going to definitely release that guy. Definitely release Friedel and... Um, Derrida may stay just because of his name and straight on to Toulouse who are in 15th after that one as now we get bloody Things in for the transfers. That's annoying I would have liked to see them three before anything as we need to get a result in this We need to score some bloody goals as we're gonna go with the same lineup still though with Callier now seven to rating goal Jan Valerie Bamba Bolly Manduki and Baba with Masengo Name Olise Moleka and Antiste to start against his former club. As Toulouse are a newly promoted club, so if there's any gonna be, any, ever going to be any goals, it's got to be now. I need to speak properly. As Dupe is in goal. They've got five at the back, though. Machado, Bocadi, Moreira, Sidibe and Diara. With Diacate, Spirins and Krijan. With Kaloris and Saeed up front. At least it's not Saeed Arab. Thought it was for a second there, but... Doesn't look like him, and of course, his second name was Arab. Yes, I am a little bit stupid as Elise. Straighten the ball out to Abdul Rabdan Baba in the middle now, onto Antiste. Shocking pass, but Elise should fight for that back and try and win it as Baba does. Right side of him as well. Good run from the left wing back. Chance to cross straight away. Malaika in there. At least it's more intent wise going forward. Like last game, we did a lot of passing but never actually got into the final third, much as that was decent as Manduki gets that tackle in there as well. And Jan Valery, the £17 million man, as it looks like, with the ball right here onto Antiste, who's tackled. And five minutes into the other game at Lille, bloody Zaha's already scored, so it proves he can score goals. So he did well to keep him quiet, as that's a great little dispossession there. But Coloris gets his pass off, Valery with the tackle, and no, referee! That is never, ever a foul as to lose with a set piece right on the edge. It's going to be Spearing and Krijan. Looks like Krijan to maybe strike it over the wall and off the post to Diakate Carlier with a great backup save from the newly 70 rated player. And that was almost a good ball out, but the free kick was never, ever a set piece free kick. That was just, that was just never, ever a foul. It should have never been given as... That one's more light one. Yellow card as well, so god damn it. When I'm on about not a free kick, we give one which is blatantly a free kick as we need more plays in the wall. It's going to be Krijan again to hit it over and onto the roof of the goal. Very lucky right there as Jan Valery with a pass straight through the middle as well into Muleka. Now onto Yanis with a back heel as well onto Noah Masengo with a pass around to Muleka. Almost got there as Masengo. Beautiful work. And he's apologising. What's he apologising for? It was an absolutely superb challenge. As Masengo gets another tackling as well. With Elise passing forward to Antiste. Round that corner. But again, just tackled. It's every just last minute pass as Bamba's made another foul. And he's on a yellow. He was already on a yellow as well. So that was a warning. So he's got to be very, very careful from now on. Wins that header. Straight on to Jackson Maleka and a pass to Masengo. As let's get forward here, boys, shall we? Masengo cuts back past there. Maleka pointing to where he wants it. It's to Maleka. He's through on goal. He's got a sweaty on, but he's going to shoot himself and score himself. It's finally a goal, and it's Jackson Maleka who looks like the striker who wants to keep on scoring in this save right now. Celebrates with Name as it is a beautiful counter-attacking goal. 1-0 up against Toulouse right here and it's, a, it's just a sublime pass, isn't it? I think it was at least here as well who's actually getting with the assists for once and it was a great ball through one-on-one -on -one and always beating Dupe from there. It was beautiful work as 32 minutes on the clock and Han Noah with the ball right here into Alise. Alise with a great pass, that one. Mikel Alise is actually picking out some good ones but Antiste is struggling a bit today. Does he see Serzan as... A potential threat in the team, I don't know, but he's not doing as well as he, well, I know he can do, holding up the ball very, very poorly, as that's a pass that was a little bit off, but we have kept the ball on Tiste, again, another bad touch, maybe coming up against his former club in the league, unleague, the top league, of course, top division, has just spooked him a little bit, as that's a great ball from him, though, he can still pick out the passes, as Muleka through for two, oh, and Dupe will be ashamed of himself right there, it slipped underneath him, and Malaika's going to the away fans to celebrate as he's got his brace in the first half. And it is two goals to nil. Great result this if it comes through us. What a ball. 
the two goals have come from sublime through balls as it's just poor from the keeper but I won't be caught complaining two at half time so that should be their game plan over as well the big Paris FC banner love to see it love to see big willy there big willy bolly that is oh dodgy as we're gonna go straight into this second half 2-0 up away from home and you know me always greedy for more however bang Kaleri scores straight away with an absolute bang what a goal past Carlier off the post and in. No keeper was saving that. And it has come absolutely out of the blue. I was silent. I am now stunned as our fans will be because that has just come completely against the runner play. Look at this. Pass through the middle. Pass. Bang. Post and in. Venom. And Mikel Elise right away on the ball. So we're a little bit stunned right there. Still can't complain with how he played in the first half. So... Just got to try and get back to that a bit. I mean, it was just straight away from kickoff. Ran straight through all our team and just blasted it in. As Elise with the pass out wide into Baba. Pass through to Maleka. Jumps over the tackle from Sidibe. What a dodge. As it's into Masengo. It needed to fall on the floor really for him. As it's a foul to them. And Elise wins the ball straight away as Name round the corner into Maleka. Maleka onto Masengo. There's a run right there. It's a good back heel. Michael Elise for three and rolls it past the keeper. We do regain our two-goal lead, and it's Michael Olise getting a goal and an assist in this game as the cam has arrived. Touchdown in Paris for good, as he did, of course, have one good performance before this, but this has definitely been his best. Straight into the bottom corner, dragged it past Dupe. Back up and scoring again as Kasongo gets the ball right here. Don't let it be 3-2. I can't take this. My nerves physically can't take it as Manduki round the corner straight on to Michael Olise. Good pass from our centre-back. And we've got a break on right here. It's Elise running through. He's just allowed to run through. Defenders coming across to him. A little too late for my liking as Elise cuts inside. He cuts. He shoots. He gets his second. What a run. What a run. Oh, completely selfish right there, I've got to say. But, of course, he could do that because he's finished it off. It is two for him and three. Or three goal contributions and assist and... Unfortunately, he's not going to get his hat trick because Bauman is going to come on. We've got to rotate it at some point. As what a finish. And Saeed with the ball right here as it is for now. If they score, I'll get a bit wary, but I don't think I'm very nervous anymore. Experience has the ball. Callier, of course, as well. In five games so far, only conceding two goals, which is amazing for a 19-year-old. In between the sticks in the top division, I will definitely take that. As that was a great pass around the corner. And Tiste not doing it this game. As the tall striker, Kryzan, is on now. And Trulier, of course, the player we just signed from Nice, making his second appearance as Bauman was almost there. And we have got the ball. Maleka over the top to Kryzan. Just touch that down, big man. There we go. And just pass that straight through the middle again. As Oh, my days. That is not the through ball I had in mind. To be fair, he's not been brought in as a passer. He's supposed to be in that box. As we've got two minutes added on in this game. And big header from Big Willy Bolly into Name right here. Onto Bauman. Gives him it back straight away. And we're in each other's way a little bit. There we go. But the referee's blown his whistle. It's a 4-1 win away in Toulouse. Nothing to lose. Haven't lost. It's a great result. And our second win of the season. As we will definitely take that sixth position. Absolutely great stuff. As we're approaching my birthday in game. Way 27th of September that is. As we're just getting closer to Marseille as well, who are just above us. This is a big game. And for me, it has to be the same team again. So you know what it is. We're going to rush into this one because I've just noticed how long this bloody video is going to be. It's going to be a very, very long one. Hopefully you guys enjoy it because I've got to play this one, haven't I? Or do I? Do I play this one? I do. Come on, let's go. Let's have a look at this team we are against on Marseille. Masip in goal. Was he at Marseille? Yeah, he was. Kamara, Concert and Tormenna with uh, Teresa Gandagay sitting. Luis Enrique, Serda, Ilamendi and Talvan with Origi and Moffi up front. Not heard of Moffi. Payet on the bench. Perrin, Morales still there. Don't know how he's still playing football. Because I thought he'd be retired by now. As Teresa Gandagay on to Daniel... Daniel? What's, what's his first name? Origi, what's his first name? I, I've completely forgot it. As Name is charging down this field, though, a lot of space because they've only got three at the back. As Maleka slots it into Antiste, Yanis! Ooh! 
just wide. Divock, that was it. Divock Origias. Maleka through the middle onto Antiste again. Antiste doesn't miss this time. He's put it in the back of the net. And we lead against Olympique Marseille. Oh, whatever you want to call them, because I don't think they deserve their title. We will be going into the Europe places if we win this one. And we've took a lead straight away. We couldn't score for Toffee in the last episode and at the start. But we've got one straight away here against Jordi Massip. 1-0. Absolutely great stuff as the ball's into Maleka right here. And Maleka cuts away. It's Jackson with a pass onto Name as well. Name, give it back. Olise. Now through that gap, Antiste with a flick on to Michael Elise. What football this is. Elise, it's two. It's two against Marseille. And Michael Elise has arrived in Paris. He's, he's touched down and he's staying down now. And bloody hope anyway. Look at that. Great celebrations right there. Victorious on the badge, on the sponsor. It's either Victoria, but I'm going to call it Victorious. As that is a great finish. That and already two against this poor Marseille side. As Divock Origi though. Divock remembered his first name. Now with a finish. To Pegas back. We always go 2-0 up and always concede after that. It is infuriating. But Divock with the goal. Their scapegoat getting one. And it's another good finish which no keeper's saving. So Carlier. He's conceded three, and I can't remember the first he conceded, but the last two he was not sighted as well. The one against Toulouse he could have never saved, and that one off sighted a bit, not directly in the corner, but at least he got a bit close. Giving him the benefit of the doubt on that one as Masengo straight through the middle onto Jordi Maleka, or Jackson. I'm just going to call him Jordi as his nickname right now, because I don't know why I always think it. It's, it's nowhere close. Jordi begins with a G. And Jackson begins with a J. As now Maleka through that middle again onto Masengo. But no, it's bounced straight back to us. And that is a foul. And why not? Let's just go for a free kick, shall we? Antiste looks like he has the best. The striker has the best everything. But his penalties were not the one, were they? As we need power to get it over the wall. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I think a set-piece specialist is what we need to sign next, actually. As Antiste has Baba out wide. He's going to find... Abdul Rabna Baba, whatever his name is, the full big name of him as it's through the middle. Olise onto Maleka. One more. Antiste on the swivel and he's put it in. It's 3 1. And Antiste joins in the fun for his second of the game. And that was a great 360 kick or 180, whatever angle it was. Great finish into the bottom corner. That one. Good pass. Good pass. Turns round the corner. Wasn't even facing the goal to start off with, but pegs it into the bottom corner for three. And Willy Bolly right here, charging up from the defence. Could we make it four before half time against Marseille, who we did beat, of course, in the cup last year, and we beat them last year in the league. It's just a team we seem to be the bogey side for as Conso with a pass backwards to Massip. We really do do well against Marseille, do do. As can we get this fourth? I really want it before half time as Baba. With a throw-in into Antiste, onto Elise running through, and he's actually kept the ball. It's Michael Elise, chips, oh, and it's saved by Massip. Keep it in. No, we haven't, but it has been given as a corner, controlling no one. Might as well just try and win that header with Baba over the top. Another corner, it must have been their player to touch it last. Into the box from Elise this time, and it's a decent one. It's gay away, and it's another one. Come on, let's keep these going. I mean, we could do these all day, although this episode's going to be a long one. As Can we win that one? No. Antiste, no. Moffy gets it away as far as Masengo, and that is half time. 3-1. Let's go straight into the second, shall we? But maybe make a change. I think Bauman needs to come on. And maybe Campanini, because he hasn't played much, of course. So Elise, Elise is going to come off, yes. And um, We're not going to put Campanini on. We're going to put Kryzan on for Muleka. So then one of our best crossers of the ball in... What's his name? Jan Valery is going to stay on and try and support the big man up front right now who needs an opening goal for the club. It's only his second appearance. My shoes, he's been past the ball right here. What can he do? Turns out, looks for Antiste. Unselfish play. And Antiste right here with the ball as he's going to look out to Jan Valery and reach him. Great chest. Thought he touched it with his hand there, but no, not given. As it's on to Kryzan right here. And look how many defenders have got back. None. That's it. Get running, Antiste. We just got to get over the top right here. And we are through as Kryzan. Oh, dodgy pass again. Luis Enrique with the ball. On to Divo Carigi right here. Who's keeping it in the corner a bit. Just over an hour played. And we have just dominated this fixture, haven't we? From the start to hopefully the finish. As Kryzan running through right here. Tries to get a couple of step overs going. But the Brazilian not finding his feet in these first two games. Granted, they're off the bench. 
be able to get into a cup, firing a cup, he may be a little bit better as Adrisa Ganage, the pass to Serdar right there, on to Moffi as it's on to Ilar Mendy as well and straight through again, had to make the tackle and it was a good one as that's not a good pass though and they're still going to put the pressure on us as Divock Origi, Bakil, Serdar with the ball and he's put it wide, terrible miss from them right there as Abdul Ramna Baba with the run forward. Needs a little pass there though as he's going to look for Bauman. And can Jonas Bauman get a goal in a Paris shirt again? He can. It's four and it's the youth play. The number 25 for life. Doing some press ups to build them very skinny arms up. Granted strength is not his strongest position but Cam is as he runs right through there behind the strikers and slots it home for another 4-1 result. Goals have started to come in bucket loads right now as Masengo running through. It's just all being gathered for this game right here as Bauman again on the edge of the box. Turns out he's going to go for a shot and it hits the head of the defender, almost the arm. And Mustafi Name with a pass around the corner into Bauman. It's Antiste. As Antiste tries to cut away right there, he's going to just lay it off to Rabdan Baba. Can we get a cross into the box right here? We can try, but Talvain touches it away as truly a. It's going to come on for Han Noah right here. He's going to cross it into the near post. Kryzan, tall striker. Almost on it, and a penalty is given. Game must have pushed him. As no, it must be a handball instead, actually, because the referee on commentary said nothing and no card. As yes, he's just punched it. He's just blatantly punched it. Antiste, I'm not going to give you it, mate. I'm going to give Kryzan it. He's only got two lesser of him. So, down this side, and he's finished it off. The big man knows how to score penalties, and he has his first in a Paris shirt, as it is 5-1. Got to give the new sign in his first goal, as it was a weird penalty, to be fair. Head height, really good height for the keeper, and he just watches it go by. Five to the good. And what a result this would be against Marseille. However, Antiste wants more. He tries to shoot. Conso with a header away, as there's only one minute added on right here, and Andresa Garnagay to run away with it. Truly, he could not get there, and Sarakui makes the last pass for a very disappointing Marseille performance. 5-1, five, 5 star stellar display from us. And we should be maybe in that top four by now. Really good from us this season. There's promise, there's desire, and there's fourth position. Paris only above us right now by one point, but do have a game in hand as Lyon sit top of the league. But we're in with the big four here. And we haven't really changed the team up at all much. We've made, what, one, two, two, Starting signing to Nolise and Bolly, who was actually last season. So one new signing, and we are up there already. As I'm going to end the episode out right here as well, because it's been a long one. Thank you guys for watching, being very good. Again, thank you for 3K subscribers. It means the world. I cannot put it into words, as thank you all so much. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And the notification bell as well, if you do want to see more of this. I've been MWS. Take care in a bit, and peace, guys.